cast a debuff on me, and I didn't get any new skills. And he's running me into the corner. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <sighs> yeah. Okay. There's a lot more people when I, since I played. Oh shit, war! I'm not ready for this. I'm I'm level one. Please no. Yeah, that's definitely not gonna be me. Help me! Save me! Oh shit. No, I'm not. What? I'll do like 20 damage. I can do 20. Oh, that was 5 million? I can't do that. What? There's schmucks up in this bitch? At least I've already got his uh, screen time. Black heaven, good, good lord. Uh, by the way, uh, is this a trailer? Am I playing the game? Oh, I'm actually playing the game. <laughs> All right, guys, I actually want to see if my character still exists in Windia. D oh, okay. I'm, I think it was my old account, but I, I have played this game before. But anyway, guys, hey, yo, what is up, guys? Aegis Rick here, back with a new game for the 777 event, Maple Story. Now, uh... I don't have too much of a history with this game, aside from the fact that it was one of, not the first, but one of the first MMOs that I've ever played before. I played back when it actually got released, and, uh, well, maybe a little bit after, but, uh, you know, they only had the first couple classes. Now, now, as far as I know, they have tons of classes and all this shit. Like, what is this? Dual Blade, Demon, Explorer? I think I'm an Explorer. This is the original OG class, right? I want the OG class, because I want the knight. I don't want any of this new shit. Look, they have different pages now, too. This is bullshit. What are these guys? Cowboys? What are these guys? Cygnus? I think Cygnus are, like, beginner characters. What, aren't some of these, like, they can't go past, like, level, like, to the max level or something? Well, I take that back. Everybody's going to the max level. Look at all of these fucking characters. Which you have access- What? Kaiser. Angelic Buster! Oh my god, guys. Oh, can I not play these? Why are they, like, black? I guess we can't play those. Uh, not very interested in playing any of these guys. I'm, I'm just sticking to my boring-ass OG classes, guys. I think it's Explorer, though. Let me go back. Or is it Resistance? No. It's definitely Explorer. Uh, yeah. I think it's him. I want to play him. Yes, I would like to choose an Explorer. Oh, my hair's looking a little weird. I almost guarantee my name is not gonna be here. There! God damn it! Okay, that's not taken. <laughs> we'll go with the mail. Hopefully we can change all of these settings. Okay. I remember that face. That was the classic OG face. That's the one I used to have. Uh, what? A little weird looking. Oh, they got definitely got some new faces here. I'll just go with what I I'm used to. Oh, wow. I remember, they only had like four hairstyles. They had like this one, this one. They didn't have that one. These are like new shit. Oh, they still only have like five or so. Change the hair color? Oh, nice. Oh, I get to choose my muffler color. Well, that's cool. You get a little bit more customization. Oh, wow. Definitely not a lot of customization there. Looks like we're in the game, guys. Level one adventurer. Go to Star Planet. Look, that is a very awesome. Aw, oh, damn it. I have to be level 33. You must create a personal- Oh, god damn it. Okay. We're in, guys. The graphics are so grainy. Right now I'm playing on a 1080p monitor, and it is full screen. <laughs> Where am I? This is some new shit right here, by the way. This is some new shit. It's pitch black. Yeah, I know. Well, okay, okay. I guess this is our new tutorial. Oh, what? Oh, it, oh, shit. That was my bad. I just- That probably fucked up the recording. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. Uh- <laughs> I think I just crashed. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of recovering, but we just, uh, just talked to some bitch named Mai, and she told me, I just told her to fuck herself, and I just came over here. Uh, but this place looks familiar, okay. And I actually just changed the window resolution. It's probably gonna look a little bit weird on your end, but man, I gotta say, uh, I remember before playing, I used to play this game in like a super square resolution, because that's like the best my laptop can handle all the time. Uh, long time ago, like like I said, when the game pretty much came out, uh, it was like an 800 by 600 resolution. But it, uh, now I'm changing it to a modern resolution. It is clear as shit. It is not grainy at all. 
it looks really good. Aged really well because of, of the graphics of this, so. Um, is there a way I can talk to these guys without clicking on them? It's impossible, because you know. I have a bit of uh, experience with this game. Um, if I could tell you guys how it you know, went down for me, I played Maple Story, like I said, about when it came out. It only had the main classes, like the four Explorer classes. Oh, here's my again. Um, it's a little bit weird. Oh, I'm a little. Okay, there you go. It was a little bit weird. Oh, card already. How do I pick up items again? See? Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Um, it was a little bit weird because it was so grindy, and it was the first time I would experience something so damn grindy. And as, as it wasn't my first MMO, it was my first MMO RPG. So I didn't really know how well the grinding was. I just kept at it and kept going at it and at it and. Um, my best friend who wasn't really into MMOs, I kind of roped him into it, and I was like, hey, he, any, anytime he'd come over, I was like, hey, come, like, grind with me. I'm fucking tired. Uh, we could take turns grinding, and we just kept going left and right, left and right, killing everybody along the way. It was some boring-ass shit, now that I think about it, because it was so damn grindy, guys. You don't understand. Uh, I've been told many times already that the, the grind has been uh, adjusted because they had different level caps and all that now, but these guys should be tougher. I'm just kind of cheesing them right now. So, I mean, that was my story back then. It's just so much grind. It was just driving us nuts. And I don't even think I got to my second job change. I was like level 30-something. And I I needed to have enough stats to, like, kill these hogs or something. I wanted to be a page at the time. And uh, it was impossible to do because, like, I was, I kept missing them. I don't know, it's so frustrating, so I just ended up giving up. After all that tiring work, I did end up giving up. Um, these look like some important equipment here. Look at these. That's like a shield over there. I want that. Give me that. Pick that up! I'm a little bit jumbled with these controls. I might have to change them in a second. I don't like alt and control as my, my movement keys, but... Guys, the biggest thing about this game is macroing your potions, let me tell you. At least that's how I remember it. It's just, you know, buy a thousand potions, sell everything you find here and just buy more potions so you can macro them. <laughs> um, I think there's even a, auto, a way to auto macro them so they, they automatically work at a certain percentage or something. Some very convenient thing like that. And already we're kind of over leveling these guys. I swear we are leveling way faster than I remember. I'm just in this beginner zone just like chopping people up man. This is what's up. I'm actually given some good items too. I don't know if they increased the drop rate on that but I, like, I don't remember ever getting anything when I played. Um, there are some particular maps I want to find for... What is this thing? It's just like free... Been up here this whole time. Uh, there's this particular map I want to find. It's like called uh, the Pig Beach, I think. It's a very, uh, like I would say, inf not infamous, you know, famous room, I guess. Um, and then there is like a secret area where you can go and... Um, what the hell is this? Secret area you can go to, like, really good, efficient farming location. They have all of the trainers in one room now. I want to be a warrior. I, I already know. Am I a warrior now? No, I'm still a beginner. <laughs> okay, well, see you guys later. A little bit odd with the... Oh, okay. This looks familiar, too. This is, like, one of the first towns. The music is different, too. I, I, I can't get over the graphics, honestly. How clear the graphics are. Because I, anytime I think of Maple Story, I just think of very, like, grainy graphics. <laughs> well, I gotta be a certain level. What, do they want me to grind in that last room? Fuck that, I'm gonna keep going. How am I looking at my items here? Okay, I picked this up. Can't use that. Oh, gosh! We're dropping level 10 gear, and I'm not even level 10 yet. Victoria Island, that's what it's called. I remember there's, like, a city with an octopus in it. Like, a dead octopus, a giant one. Anyone? Anyway. Okay, Vasily. You doucher. Those are just doucher glasses, guys. Don't don't wear square glasses like that. <laughs> and then I have to think twice. I'm like, my my glasses better not be square. Go defeat the. Oh, they're they're on your ship. Hey, you. I've never seen this enemy before, by the way. Who is this man? He's got a defensive buff. Die, bitch. Oh my God, he's huge. He's a huge. He he's a threat, man. I can't beat this guy. He cast a debuff on me, and I didn't get any new skills. And he's running me into the corner. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <sighs> yeah. Just keep hitting him. Jump! Oh my god, I'm gonna die. How, how does he expect me to beat this guy? Are you crazy? Okay, we're gonna have to macro our potions up. Um, make sure we put this on the fucking... I don't, I don't know. Eight. 
Yeah, eight is good. Can I spam them? Yeah, okay. We're good. We're gonna beat this guy now. Is he recovering? The hell out of here. Doing some, like, uh, Donkey Kong Country. Oh, shit. I think he gets super armor, so I can't knock him back in. I'm missing anyway, and I died. This fucking guy. Yeah, 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 looking at judging me. Yeah, I died on the snail. What do you want from me? I can't believe they're, like, they expect me to kill that thing, like, that early on. I don't have, like, any gear. I don't have anything. I think there's a way to throw shells. Like, you know the snails, they drop all these shells. I think there's a beginner skill for me to be able to throw those. Let's pick up some snail shells, and we're gonna just, like, chuck them at the, the boss. So the thing about this game, guys, there's, like, no cooldown on your skills as far as I know. So you can literally just sit there and spam your skills as long as you have enough MP, which is not a big problem when you think about uh, you being able to spam potions without cooldown again. So, um, what it, what it turns out being is a big-ass spam fest of you using the best possible skill that you have, because like I said, no cooldown. So, um, whatever skill is the best for that situation, whether it be a big-ass AoE or a big single target damage skill, use the best one that you possibly can, because again, like I said, no cooldowns and no limitation on basically any mana either, because you can spam potions. So, um, it really is kind of an interesting design towards the game because at that point it doesn't really matter what your build is because you're just going to keep using the best skill possible. So, you know, you'll use a skill just to level up for leveling purposes, but at some point you're going to pick up a skill that's just stronger than that in every way and you're just going to end up using that one. It's a little bit, um, I wouldn't say counterintuitive, I would say just a little bit, uh, uh, less, less thought has to go into that kind of decision. Uh, because of because of that you're just like okay i'll just use this for now i'll get a couple levels then we'll pick up the next one just to keep using that so um i kind of like it it's a lot of uh i wouldn't say mindless fun i don't want to i want to piss anybody off but it's just like you know a lot of spammable fun and you'll get to the point where you're just super powerful and you'll be able to kill everything on the screen just by using the one skill over and over and over again so um but guys i didn't even mention what i'm planning to go as i don't know if i'm even going to make it that far but i'm trying to job change into warrior so i can later then job change into the page class which i think is also called white knight or something i'm just killing these snails here they're like level two i'm like way over leveled now what what, what does this game want is this enough so i can kill that damn snail because he fucking shit on me. Oh, I, forgot, I think I forgot to put my skill points in, actually. That's probably why I'm not doing any damage. Hold on. That's probably why I'm not doing any damage. You, you guys are who are Maple Story pros are like, Fucking Rick, you don't... You don't know. Um, stats. How come I don't have stats? You don't... You don't have the ability to put your own stat points anymore? Go defeat the monsters rampaging my ship. You mean the one fucking snail that's shitting on me? Did I throw it at him? Oh, I did. Okay. Gosh, it's like lagging. Oh, wow! That's some epic damage. Yeah, eat this, bitch. This is way better. Wow, I ran out of mana. I, did, I probably should have shortcutted them, too. Use it. Hopefully, I have enough shells for this guy. Eat fucking shell, bitch. Okay, we got him. <laughs> I wonder what that debuff or buff he put on me with the snail is on. Maybe it's reminding me, use the snail skill. Warrior. I want to be a warrior. That was scary. <laughs> what is up with me being scared of shit like that? Oh, finally. Okay, what do we got? Oh, another cutscene. Okay. Fucking Canadians. The anime! It's back! <laughs> you know, I don't give a shit. I'm sorry. Can I skip this? No. Get me out of here! This is too anime, man. I'm experiencing this a lot with the games I've been playing recently. If you guys are watching my East Origin playthrough on my Magnus Rick channel, this same shit happened. <laughs> the anime is real in a lot of these games I'm playing. That thing doesn't look menacing at all. Oh, but you blasted him. <laughs> Fucking Canadians. What the hell? This game is a mishmash of everything in the universe right now. What is going on? They have anime, they got like cutscenes. How much do you know about warriors? I want to be a warrior, alright? Still paths, whatever, dude. Can I? Oh, do I get to transport to the town immediately? That's cool. That's cool. And I'm already level 10, so I get to be a 
I could do the drop change. Oh, I'm a warrior already. We did it, guys. Oh, and there they are. Okay, okay, guys. I was like, where the fuck is my stats? Well, you don't get them until your job change. Well, I wish I knew that before. So, dex is super important because it determines how well you hit enemies. So, oftentimes, if you don't have enough dex, you're just going to miss everybody. Uh, which is kind of cheap that they kind of force me to get two different stats. Like, strength and dex so I can actually hit enemies. Because um, some, some classes only rely on dex for both their damage and their hit stats. So, it's just like... OP, do you want the Explorer book? You do, right? Yeah, sure. It's like, do you want AIDS? Oh, okay. I don't, maybe? Hen Henesis? Oh, that's the beginner town. It's actually the Bowman town as well. Well, that's super cool, because before, guys, you started in the same town. Everybody started in the same town, but if you wanted to be a certain job, you'd have to manually walk over to the... Maple Leaf, uh, move over to the actual town, which is significantly far away. Um, you know, you'd have to take a taxi or something to get there. What? Why is this like that? Okay, cool. So it's like a guidebook. I don't really care for it right now, but but guys, I'm actually really close to the place I wanted to visit. There's a couple places I want to visit. I'm not gonna talk to anybody, guys. I just want to go to a couple locations. Two. Oh, whoa, whoa. This is not correct. These guys are like high level, aren't they? Okay, no, I can handle. I like one that. I can do that. We should be nearing the the pig pig uh, place, pig beach. Get away from me, man! I need, I gotta find the pig beach. This is not right. Where am I? <laughs> I swear it's like a straight shot. Let's look at the world map real quick. Um, Alinea is where um, the mages are, and I want to actually go there. Is there a way to zoom in from here? Well, they're dropping a lot of gear now. And I think I could put that on, actually. I think I remember that armor in particular. It cost a lot of gold. I bought it from the NPC. And I was, like, trying to farm up. I was like, okay, maybe I can get a sh boots first and then <laughs> get a sword later. And then, you know. I looked cool as shit, though. I got this, like, black and red one. I looked awesome. I'll probably find a picture of it somewhere. Okay, yeah. Definitely. Now I'm going to be tanky as hell. Can I put this on? Put it on, dude. Look! I got my armor, guys. I'm like a real knight. Can I actually tank these guys? Oh, that's that's the real question. Drink your potions, dude. Oh, well, guys, I'm sorry. I I'm, I wasn't able to find anything. Uh, but I kind of like the new revamp version. In fact, I, the the biggest, most surprising thing is the graphical overhaul. I don't know if it if it's always been like this or if back when I played it was really just that bad and I sucked, my computer sucked, but I really like the fact that I'm able to play this on my 1080p monitor and it is clear as hell and that's kind of the that's kind of the beauty of sprite graphics guys because they can age really well. We just got through playing Lunia uh, the other day and that game did not look very good but this one still ages very well and that's just the beauty, you know, games like Wind Waker for the GameCube and stuff. Those kinds of games, these cute games, age really well uh, because, you know, they're not limited by graphics, man. They, they have that kind of look to them that uh, can really do well. And that's part of the reason why I think this game is still so popular to this day. So, anyway, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, I couldn't find the Pig Beach. I couldn't go to the Alenia. But you know what? I'll put in the Alenia music because it's so beautiful. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And, uh, and we'll probably release another video today since I'm a little bit behind on the 7-7 uh, seven, seven, seven event. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I will catch you guys oh, later. This is why I wanted to go to Alenia. The theme is so beautiful. It is.